Hi there students. Some more vivid verbs. So you could say he went down the street. He went up the street. He went along the street. But then you could say he galloped down the street. A horse, when it's going really fast, gallops. So if he's galloping, he's going really fast, like a horse at full speed. Yeah, he was galloping down the street. We could say he scampered down the street. To scamper gives me the idea of little feet going very, very, very fast. The mice scampered up and down. OK, the children scampered here and there. So he scampered down the street. Lots of little steps, but very, very, very fast. He trotted down the street. OK, a horse also trots, but trot is medium pace so that you can probably go a long distance. Yeah, a trot is running, but not at full speed. Boop, boop, boop. Like when you go jogging, you trot. So he trotted down the street. OK, to scurry. He scurried along the street. Scurry, I think, is very like scamper as well. Scurry, I have this noise of ch 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 ch, -ch and little feet going very, very fast at 300 to the dozen, as they say. OK, the mice are scurrying backwards and forwards again. So he scurried down the street. He went quickly, but with little fast steps. He clomped down the street. Clomp, 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 clomp. So if somebody's clomping, either they're not very uh, agile, they're a bit clumsy, or they've got great big boots on. Yeah, if you've got great big boots on, you'd clomp down the street or maybe a giant clomps down the street boom 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 you could trudge along the street to trudge is to walk in a really tired way imagine you've been walking all day and you've already walked 50 kilometers well you would trudge by that Point. So trudge has the idea of walk slowly and tiredly because you haven't got a lot more energy. OK, he plodded down the street. To plod is to walk slowly. I think it's got a little bit of this idea of uh, clomp as well. Plod, plod. But to plod is to go slowly and without energy. So if he's plodding down the street, he's tired. He's not as tired as if he was trudging, but he's plodding down the street. He's continuing on a long and difficult journey. You could say he loped down the street. OK, to lope is like a big uh, jumping pace. Yeah, so he loped down the street. He took big bounding strides. OK, to lope. I also have the idea with lope is somebody who lopes is very, very tall and has very long legs. So if he loped down the street, he was taking long jumping steps. To stride, stride, strode, strode. He strode down the street. To stride is to walk very fast with big, long steps. But walking, not uh, running or jumping or anything like that. And to stride is to walk fast. OK, he bounded down the street. To bound is to uh, run with big jumping steps i always have an eye uh, when i hear the word to bound i think of a dog running along and it bounds it jumps through the air yeah so he was bounding down the street with big jumping strides or big jumping paces 
Yeah, you can even use to bound, meaning to jump. He bounded from the uh, the ground up onto the ledge. Okay, to lollop. To lollop is to walk clumsily, with clumsy steps or clumsy jumps. So if you're not very agile, yeah, if you're not uh, very uh, good with ha uh, hand-eye or leg-eye coordination, maybe you lollop, plollop, plollop. I've got the idea of lollop as well is going from side to side. And then finally, he limped down the street. So if you've twisted your ankle, you limp. If you've got a bad leg, you would limp. Yeah? Boop, 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 boop. So he limped down the street. Okay, what about formality? Gallop is neutral. Scamper, I think, is a little bit informal. To trot is neutral. To scurry, a little bit informal. To clomp a little bit informal. To trudge mm, is uh, neutral, maybe even the slightest bit formal. To plod, just a little bit informal. To stride is neutral. To bound, yeah, I would say this is neutral as well. To lollop, a little bit informal. To limp is neutral. So let's go through them again. To gallop, to go really fast like a horse at full speed. To scamper, little legs going really, really, really fast. To trot, to run, but at a, at a jog, at a fast jogging pace. Yeah, you could say he jogged down the street as well. To scurry, I have this ch 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 Yeah, little fast uh, paces again, scurrying. He's in a hurry, he scurried down the street. He clomped down the street because he was really, he had really big boots on. Clomp, clomp, yeah? Okay, not a ballet dancer, very definitely. He trudged down the street, he was really tired. He plodded down the street, he walked slowly in an unhurried and tired way. He loped down the street with long jumping steps. He bounded down the street, big jumping strides, jumping almost. To stride, to walk really fast at full pace. To lollop, okay, you lollop clumsily, to walk in a clumsy, inelegant fashion. And then finally, to limp. He limped down the street, he had a bad leg and he was dragging one leg a bit behind the other. So there you go, lots of words for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Gallop, scamper, trot, scurry, clomp, trudge, plod, lope, stride, bound, lollop, and limp.